What's going on everyone, College Lefty, and in this one I have for you guys a gameplay and a pack opening including a guaranteed finest player. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so we're going to get right into the game. This guy's got a pretty budget team. He's got that finest Lindor, that immortal George Brett. He's got the free Ted Williams. He's got Kyle Schwarber, Steve Pierce, Aaron Judge, Edgar Martinez. He's got the postseason players and some of the programs from pre previously, like towards the later half of the year. And I was wondering, like... I was wondering if he just barely got the game. He made World Series. He's a silver level. I was trying to figure out as much as I could from his team and, and stuff like that. Not oftentimes he can do that. But anyway, I'm hitting a hitting a triple there with Babe Ruth. His guy was really close to making that play. Babe Ruth is all over that ball down and went away with it. And then the next pitch, he throws it kind of in the same spot there to Albert Pujols. And I was able to hit that one too for a home run. And then, I mean, go I go up 3 nothing. It's still the first inning. And, I, I mean, I don't know really what happened in this one. I... You guys let me know what you guys think about the gameplay. You can't really tell just yet, but I felt like this opponent started to not really... He was trying at times, like he was trying to play well, and then at times he was just trying to mess around. Here he starts to practice swing. He's got one, only one out in the game. Starts to practice swing, and then swings through the pitch. Then, and I mean, now he was... Now he starts to bunt dance. I was just... I was kind of confused if he was trying to throw me off here, or if he was just trying to... Uh, if this is how he plays, I have no idea. Everybody plays the game differently. But I didn't think he was a bad player. I figured I would just start messing around with him too. Take a bounding leap with Griffey. But, I mean, Mike Trout's able to get there. That just shows how much range he has anyway. Just all messing around aside. I, I didn't think that this guy was a bad player though. He's he's a World Series player. I mean, he I could tell he was making good contact. I just wasn't... I just was surprised with the tactics, what was going on. But there he gets a base hit. I knew I knew that he could... I knew that he could hit. I didn't. I didn't show his record in this video, but it wasn't. A, it wasn't a bad record. I mean, I think he. I think he previously. I don't know if he made World Series last game because he does, or last season because he doesn't have the Sandberg, but he probably took some time off from the game. I don't. I couldn't really tell. But he's ripping a base hit with Kyle Schwarber, and now he's one swing of the bat. He can. He can tie up the game here. Bob Gibson on the mound, and I. I was able to throw that slider. Dot up. Dot up that slider. I was trying to throw it outside of the zone, but it caught the zone there. And if he had swung, he probably would have done some damage. There, I'm getting a, I'm, I mean, next inning, he jumps right there. I, I was wondering what happened. He probably could have made that play, but I, I was just confused. I don't know. I was wondering how I would upload and, and uh, implement this gameplay into the, into my rank season's run. I uh, This was earlier on. I mean, I was about 600-something level. This was a few games in, and I just didn't really want to. I mean, there he dives with, his, with both players. I don't know if he was trying to dive with his infield, and that happened. I couldn't really tell you, but he, he seems like he's kind of given up. But at the same time, he's still playing. So I don't know. If I, if, for me, when I when I get down in the game like this, I try to come back and I'll try to have good at-bats. I mean, he's squaring around a bunt and then hits a foul home run. I was thinking to myself, if this guy plays straight up, then this is probably a, a good game. I'd probably give up a few runs already. You know, I I'd, I have no idea. But anyway, George Brett's hitting a, hitting a double, an extra base hit, and I threw to the wrong base. I didn't throw to the cutoff man. So I had to cancel my throw and throw it in. He gets to third on that. That's not my own fault completely. But Edgar Martinez is up. He gets the second hit of the game there on a what, whatever the heck that's called. And he, he, I mean, that's just a blooper. But it was an outside pitch. He pulled it early and it was off the end of the bat. I don't, I have no idea. But anyway, Babe Ruth gets the, uh, gets a no doubt home run there. And it was, see, it seemed like, like right now it goes back to he was like playing. He started pitching me well. I, I I don't know. He was throwing it to the corners. Maybe he just gave up. At that point, I don't I would I don't understand why he didn't he didn't just quit the game if he's just I don't know. He was just messing around. I figured I would include this in this gameplay because I'm gonna be opening up some packs. It was only just a few minutes and didn't really have time to play the game all that much yesterday. Just had to I was just uploading a few videos and I was doing some stuff school related. Here he tries to make a, a diving catch. Um, he did score one run in the game on that Edgar Martinez, but I ended up mercy ruled mercy ruled this guy in later on in this game. But so let's go ahead and get right into the packs here. I have a couple packs already, some single packs, and then a jumbo exchange pack. I'm gonna buy a 20 pack bundle right here, and I had those. I got that jumbo exchange pack from exchanging some Stan Musial items that I had. I spent the 20k stubs right there. I'm gonna go ahead and open them, open up some of these. Hopefully I can get pull a diamond. I've probably opened up about 300 to 350 packs on the season, and I pulled one diamond, and that was out of my free pack from Charlie Blackman. So there we get a set four pack. Now I'm going to open up this Jumbo Exchange. Gives you a few diamond items, souvenirs. I think it's one gold baseball, two or two gold baseballs, one diamond ball, and then one diamond bobblehead, 
and then a couple more gold items. So it's guaranteed to get a few hundred stubs. If you're able to get those, then definitely exchange those and get those exchange packs because you are able to quick quick sell those things in your inventory and at least get back at least 1,500 stubs. So that's a good way to make some some quick stubs if you do have some of those items. Anyway, got some uh, some of these 17 set 17 packs. The Thanksgiving item is the is the thing we're looking for here for that Giancarlo Stanton. I'm not really concerned about getting that card. I know he's really good, but the chances of me pulling that equipment item are very slim. I don't even know I don't even know what that item is. I think it's the cleat that everybody's looking for, but whenever the I mean there's always one item that's most expensive and that one is usually really hard to pull. It's it's just as hard to pull as like to say the Shohei Otani or an ex, a set pack exclusive card like that. So I had to stop uh, recording real quick there because my audio started to fall behind of what, or my audio was in front of what my actual lips were saying, so hopefully I fixed the problem. But anyway, we still have 16 packs left to go here, or 15 packs as I keep opening them. But I'm hoping for a, any any kind of stubs back I could get. I'm trying to get at least like, a diamond card. I mean, it's been a while since I opened up a diamond card. I've opened probably at least 300 packs on the season, 350, maybe upwards of 400. Next year, I think I'm going to keep track. I paused there for a second. I thought I got the item I needed for that John Carlos stand. I was pretty excited. But anyway, I I figure I might as well uh, keep opening packs. I don't. There's not really anything else I need to or I want to buy. I guess if I saved all the stubs from every pack I bought, I probably could have gotten the finest player that I wanted. But I am gonna have that guaranteed finest player in this video. So I do have that. You won't. You don't see it in the inventory yet because after I open up these packs, I finished up the last few parts of the mission that I needed to do in that December program. I finished and finished the five home runs for Bryce Harper, and I finished the hardware hitting stats. Also, one thing I wanted to let you guys know that the uh, I was in a stream yesterday, and MLB The Show Tips was also in that stream. It was Atron's stream on Twitch, and he was kind of answering some questions. I tweeted out some information on that. So if you're not following me on Twitter, Definitely look in the description and click that link. Follow me over on Twitter. Look at the posts I tweeted out. But just to keep a long story short, the post was pretty much saying that there will be a forever event and forever ranked seasons, but it is still a few months away. There will still be some more events coming out. As uh, He didn't mention which Monday, but on a Monday upcoming here, there will be an event. And he said that in that event, there is a in the, within the December program, there is a hint as to what that event is. And my guess it would be I guess it would be a hardware players only event or a f all flashback event because he did also mention that Bryce Harper would be useful in this event. So that's something to keep in mind as well as he did confirm that there will be more ranked seasons rewards coming up this for the next month or two. I asked him, I didn't specify for how, how many more seasons or how many more months, but he did say that there will be a few more before the forever ranked seasons event is. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up this Thanksgiving pack. Got the, another another one of those bats. So a couple of sunglasses and a couple bats. Have the guaranteed finest player pack right here. I'm going to go ahead and redeem it. As you see, that that is the thumbnail of this video. And we're going to go ahead and open up these packs. I'm going to buy another 10-pack bundle here to include. But once I get once I get some of these universal player packs open, some of these single packs, I am going to be opening up this finest pack. It won't be the last thing included in the video because I do want to talk a little bit more about what I was saying. But anyway, that is exciting that we're going to have that is exciting that we're going to have some more rewards. He said that the rewards should be pretty good, which in my opinion that means a lot of power. This guy is someone who talks to the community a lot, and he. Uh, he knows exactly what the community wants. As I got the hot dog, the hot dog nameplate there, I'll probably end up equipping that. That's one of the rarest nameplates in the game, I'd say, and that was one I didn't have. But I know it's just a nameplate. It is what it is. I'll probably just put it on there just because it's something new. But anyway, I'm opening up some of these souvenir packs and uh, solo packs here from the packs in a pack. I might as well. I mean, I I don't even know if there are diamonds in these packs. I don't think so. I don't think they're. They might be for somebody else, but for my account, there's no diamonds in regular packs. I got I got one diamond so far from in Charlie Blackman from my first time completing conquest. Since then, nothing. And uh, well, one diamond in James Paxton, who I think is now a gold anyway. But I got him out of a ball and as a habit pack. I've easily spent I don't know four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand stubs on a di on uh, packs. And pulled those cards only. Not that I, 
Not that I, I think they should be guaranteed. I'm just saying, for people that spend money on the game, I, I couldn't imagine. That's why I don't buy packs with my own money in this game. That's just personal preference. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up this finest player. Screen's going off in an explosion. And Max Scherzer, one of the cards I wanted. I really wanted to uh, get Max Scherzer, J D Jacob deGrom. I wanted Lindor or JD Martinez. So I'm definitely going to be using those cards here or that card and hopefully get another one of those cards by getting the world series getting another 97 and 98 guaranteed card that's actually sellable the other pack i if you guys didn't check out that video i did get edwin diaz in that other pack so he is in the bullpen as well and i'll take those pitchers man i'll take those two pitchers my my team is stacked on the hitters i have all the hitting immortals and i i have some on the i mean all 99s on the bench i still use my creative player because he's better than some immortals but it is what it is, man. I'm excited about that Max Scherzer. They will, there will be a debut video for that Max Scherzer coming out here. As I'm just wasting my stubs, I probably could have got another finest, uh, another finest pack. It wouldn't have been guaranteed, but I could have spent the 30k stubs in this video that I spent on regular packs and pulled the finest. But that would have just got me two gold cards. I mean, I might as well or one gold card. I, I know, I know, I'm not gonna pull a finest player out of these regular packs. And you, you might say, well, if you don't risk it, then you're never gonna get one. And that's true too. But I did get one out of a guaranteed, so I figured I'd just extend the video with some regular packs and, and some gameplay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay. A little bit of a different game. I'm not sure uh, if he was trying. I don't think he was trying the whole time in that game, but it is what it is. I mean, everybody plays the game differently. Until next time, guys, peace out.